Yo, what's up, Shoe Fam? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the optimizations I used to get 300 FPS. Well, actually, over 300 FPS on this so called low budget laptop of mine. And you guys have really asked me a lot for this video, so here we go. The first thing we're gonna do is make a reset point. Just type create or reset point or something, and it's gonna come up. That option that's grayed out on mine, it should like be optional for you guys just press create and put a name for it the next thing we're going to go is into our nvidia settings and the first part we can all do it on like our laptop it should work properly and it's basically our performance setting so just go down to the second one and make sure it's on high performance like all the way to the left on high performance and just press apply since i've done it already i'm not going to press apply and just make sure to copy like all the settings like different youtubers have different settings but you guys want the settings that gives me 300 fps so just yeah like you can copy the settings if you want to these are the settings i use basically to get all the fps that i can get on this laptop and i'm pressing cancel because it's already applied on my laptop so these are the two main apps that i use uh don't really use any other apps but i'll test some other apps for this video those are the two main ones the mz ram booster and mz cpu accelerator so i basically turn this two on as soon as i turn my laptop on like i know i'm gonna game i turn this two on so the accelerator this is what it looks like i just click that and the rest i don't really touch it you guys can check the other settings if you want to but i don't and i don't see a point to you can like mess around with the settings if you want to i'm not recommending you to do it but anyway this is what the booster looks like when i turn it on i'm gonna like turn it off and turn it on for you guys so you can see exactly what it looks like when i turn it on then double click yeah this is basically what it looks like when i turn it on and it's not too complicated as well. These are the other settings. I don't mess around with these settings, to be honest. Personally, I don't. You can if you want to. I just click on the first one and the second one. The CPU booster, like the third one, I never click on it. Just pow, pow. The CPU booster, I don't click on it. Every time I've clicked on it, it just like freezes my laptop until I close like the entire app on Task Manager, which is very weird. So yeah i don't mess with that one at all for some of you that want to see like the cpu and gpu that i have this is it basically so for those of you who actually want to know how to download this just go to your browser and type mztweak.com it brings you to their official website and when you go over to products it literally shows you every booster that they have like literally all the specific ones but for this video we're just using the ones that i have which is the mz ram booster and the accelerator and when you actually open up the app it's gonna show you what it looks like what you need to do is just scroll down a bit and click on the download button after you click the download button, just follow the rest of the video and when it's all done downloading, just press install and everything should work properly for you guys. So we're going to go into our Fortnite and open it up. I think most of you know about it, but Fortnite added it again in a new way. When you like click on those three dots and you click on options, it's showing you this high resolution textures and the DX, like the 12 shades. It wasn't there before. Like I just checked two weeks ago and it was both like both of them were checked. I didn't know about it. Just uncheck it because we don't need it for anything. Then just go to start up. 
click startup and go to startup apps most of you have a lot of stuff that starts up when your laptop starts up and it just like messes up with your fps and like your gpu and all this kind of stuff i only keep the necessary ones that i need and for those of you who talk about like uh stretch resolution for me i don't think it really helps that much it just makes the game feels better but not really with fps anyway we're gonna go into our search bar and type percent temp percent and click on it we're gonna go to the local file and look for fortnite games click on it click on that go to that that and look for the game settings uh actually we're gonna go back because we didn't click like read only we didn't uncheck it so okay it is unchecked make sure it's unchecked for you you double click it and then you're gonna change the resolution to whatever you want in this eight places basically so the two like the four here and the four on the bottom you change it then when you're done you basically save it and then the check that we just checked for <laughs> We're going to make sure it's checked, then apply. Uh, if you're on a monitor like me, you can do this extra step, which is going in, into your NVIDIA and changing the resolution here. So on your laptop, basically this option isn't here. Anyway, for this, you can use the options that I hear. This one is basically the resolution I use, so I don't have to create a custom one. But for example, if you wanted a specific kind of resolution that was not here, you can just create a custom resolution, like literally whatever you want. Custom resolutions are cool, but you might just have a really stretch resolution. So that's it for the tweaks. And we're going to go into some reload gameplay. Oh, I love this game mode so much. It's so, so fun. Uh, I hope you guys can watch till the end. And if you're new, please just like, subscribe and share. Uh, peace out. Where did we go? Bye, please. Uh... Army, army. I know. Are you doing? There's a llama. He RPG'd himself, bro. What? Cracked. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah. Are you good? Okay, come down to me, come down to me, come to me, come down to me. Knock him.
dead. No mess, bro. Ah! This guy is not reloading, bro. Fight.